Hi guys, it's Dutch. Um, today we're going to find out what your person needs to hear from you. You know, like what they need to hear from you to make them feel secure in this connection. Um, what they need from you. So, the first group has calcite. It's really pretty. And then refined calcite, like raw calcite and then like, um, refined calcite. It feels so nice too. Calcite is like waxy. And then group two has clear quartz and opalite. Beautiful. And then group three it has green serpentine and green calcite. All right, let's get started. Spirit, can you please tell me what group one needs to hear from their from this person that is watching the video? What does their person need to hear from them um, in order to feel secure in their connection? Okay, uh, group one, so your person, they need to know that you've put in the work. They need to know that you've put in the work healing yourself before they are able to trust you with um, a second chance. Okay, first of all, Spirit just said they need to hear sorry. And don't be offended by that because Spirit's telling me that there's been plenty of situations that this person hasn't been, you know, perfect or great or like situations where they needed to apologize and they did because you made them because it was appropriate and now it's kind of like the roles are reversed and like they do need to hear that they're so that you're sorry. They don't just want to brush over whatever whatever issue it was that you guys had or a fight that you had or whatever it was, like feelings were hurt and people's perspectives on each other were changed um this hurt them because see all this red hair this hurt them not only in their intuition but it hurt them in their root like in their sense of stability in their sense of um you know home in their sense of basic needs this made them feel really oh the, it, it hit on an old an old pain you know what i mean it hit an old nerve with them and it hurt so they need to hear that you're sorry they need to heal that you see <laughs> they need to hear Bridget that you've done the healing they need to hear that you're someone who can be trusted and that you also trust yourself and then they need to hear that you know it's worth giving you redemption it's worth giving you a second chance um they need to know that you have strength now that you have strength and confidence in yourself they need to know that you're putting the past behind five of cups you need to know that you're putting the past behind and that you actually have a control over your emotions. Um, they need to hear that you, it's almost like they put you in time out. It's like they put you in time out in hermit mode. They need to know that you did the work in hermit mode for the self healing to allow them to give you the second chance. Um, they need to know that like, I don't know that you're not going to make the same mistake twice. They need to know that you've let go of what no longer serves you and that you have the strength to keep pushing forward even if it's on your own. 
Um, and they need to know if you're in a relationship with someone. They need to know about where you're at emotionally as far as relationships go. Like, maybe you need to come out to them. Or maybe you need to, um, you know, just be honest and tell them, you know, I'm not dating right now. Or whatever it is that you need to tell them about relationships, tell them. If you cheated on them, you have to tell them. Like, and this doesn't have to be a romantic like partner this could be family or friends or literally anyone this could be any kind of person that you're asking about but they need to know what's going on with you romantically do not lead them on and they need to know that they can trust you now they had a little side note for you this person perhaps in the past they didn't really want to talk about like the spiritual side of things or your spirituality or like if you do witchcraft or manifestation like whatever you do if you talk to the angels if you talk to the spirits um they didn't you know it wasn't something that they were really interested in the past but spirits saying now they are now they want to talk about it let's talk about it let's talk about it share with them share with them what you have going on share with them your manifestation and share with them your skills and your spell work because they need it right we're trying to elevate humanity right now, and um, we're trying to elevate humanity right now. We need to teach everyone as much as we can about the occult so that we can rise up and change and be better, right? So, like, they want you to, you have more knowledge on this subject than they do, and they want you to share it, and, like, they just showed me you guys doing it in the kitchen, some kitchen witching. You might be at their house, and they're like, yo, I've been seeing you do this. Can you show me how you do it? <laughs> And then you do your kitchen witching. Um, but it's like they might be trying to get a job or they might be trying to get into a program or into a school or, you know, they're trying to achieve something and they want to use spell work to help, you know, nudge this situation in the direction that they want it in. Um, and they, they want you to teach them what you know. Also, telling them how to do a manifestation journal would be really good for them because they are a strong manifester, but sometimes they tend to lean towards the negative side of manifestation, unintentionally manifesting their fears. And then the angels are watching over this. Like, you guys have been friends for a long time or you've dated for a long time, and I don't just mean, like, in this life, like, in many lives. You've known each other many 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 lives over right the angels are looking over this spirit is looking over this and this connection is exactly how it's supposed to be like the ups and downs are exactly the way they're supposed to be everything is in perfect alignment right like you can't go wrong though not in the way that the universe is created so spirit just wants you to know yes this person is supposed to be in your life they just want to know that they can trust you again because whatever happened whether it was a big deal or a small deal, it hurt their feelings. And they need to be validated in their feelings being hurt and in their trust being broken. And they need to know that they can trust you. But as soon as you, you just have to look them in the eye and tell them, like, I'm sorry, I was wrong, but you can trust me. And I love you. And as soon as you do that, they're back to being putty in your hands. You know, they love you. You've been connected for a long time. And you're supposed to be in each other's lives, you know? All right, pile one, I hope that gave you some answers that you were looking for, and I hope to see you again sometime. Thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe if you feel like it, and if not, I hope you have a great night or day. Bye. Okay, group two. So your person really just needs to know that you, it's more of like they need you to show them rather than tell them. Like they need to know that you can be independent and creative on your own and that you really don't need anybody other than yourself. Ah, they just told me it's like cat and mouse. Uh, you might be dealing with a Leo, but you could be dealing with any sign really. Um, but I just think of Leo because like the cat, 
when you see a cat, it's such a, like, the way a Leo-type relationship works. Like, you go to pet the cat, and the cat shrinks away. And then you're like, fine, I won't pet you. And then they come... <laughs> They turn around when, when you're not petting them and they're like, hey, and they come back around and they want to be pet and it's that, that back and forth, that cat and mouse. It's like they need that. They, they can't feel like you want them too much and they can't feel like you don't want them enough. It's got to be like this perfect middle ground. They want to know that you can be independent, but they also want to know that you have plenty to give to them. And with this card, the muses, inspiration. They, they just really, I feel it in my solar plexus. They really love everything about you. They feel really connected to you and they feel like you're really, really, really beautiful. Really, really, really beautiful. And they really want you. They really want this. They really, really, really want this connection. Um, but they want to know that you're okay without it. And they need you to just kind of be independent right now. Hmm. They might work a lot, they might work a lot, and so they don't always have time to be chatting or spending time with you. Um, let's get more cards. What do they need to hear from uh, Pile 2? What does Pile 2's person need to hear from them? It's like they don't want to put in a ton of work for nothing. They're worried that they're putting in all this effort and all this energy for nothing. Because they're at a point, it almost feels like you guys are at a point in your lives where like all these pentacles, dude, slow, 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 slow. You might have just told them that you needed to slow down or they might have just told you that they needed to slow down. Either way, this relationship has taken a turn for the slower. <laughs> um but they're up in the air right now they're up in the air um they need to know from you that you're not that you don't have like many other options if it, this really feels like um a love connection a love relationship so if you're the person you're asking about is not a love relationship um you might want to pick another group but who knows it could resonate for you either way um but so they want to know that they're not just like one of many they don't want to sit here and waste their time and put in all this work and all this effort just to have you run look at that bitch run look at her run <laughs> and then he's like trying to grab her he's like no come back come back i don't want to lose you bitch <laughs> and she's just like the body is um ah uh, they feel like you're not ready to give them your body. Wow. Yeah, and you might not be. So that's why things are slow. But they don't want to bury this. They don't want this to end. They don't want this to die. They really, and they want to know that, like, they want to know that you see them as, like, the Ten of Pentacles, that you see this going somewhere, and that you see you guys having something together, that they, that you see you guys having a connection, and that at all this work that they're putting in isn't for nothing, you know? they're worried that you might be a little bit either emotionally immature or emotionally distant like cut off really independent um so there's probably two groups here. There's a group of people where you might be a little bit more clingy and emotionally immature. And then there's a group here where you might be like really independent and just like really emotionally disconnected and emotionally unavailable. And there, this worries them. This worries them quite a bit. So they need to hear from you that like, that you are emotionally available and that you are interested in them. They need the communication. They need the communication. They need to talk to you about it. They need to connect with you about it. They need to, um, or cut them out. They just told me, cut, cut me off. If this, my heart is, all right, I'm getting a direct connection from them. My heart is in this 
I really like you. I know we just recently met or just recently started connecting, but I have love for you and I feel like you have love for me too. And I need to hear it or cut me the fuck off because I'm too emotional, I'm too sensitive, I'm too empathic for this shit to be dicked around while you have other suitors. I don't want to chase, like, chase, I want to chase you, but I don't want to chase you too far. If you want to go, I've got to let you go. Uh, consent. Consensual. They don't want to push you in any way that you don't feel comfortable being pushed in. But ultimately, they do want, this is what they, this is what all this is saying. They want, they want everything with you. They want to be happy with you. They want you. Whoa. Princess of Wands, Summer, and then Prince of Swords, Mutable Air. So. Wow. So we have Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. These are beautiful. So these represent you too. This is you, and this is, or it could be reversed. This is them, or this is you and this is them. And they want you, see how he's coming in with like his sword? They either want you, they want you to cut them out, like cut it out or cut them out if you're not serious about this. And then if this is you, they're coming rushing in with communication to tell you exactly how they feel. Either way, communication is necessary, but you're a prince and a princess. The princess of wands and the prince of swords. And your connection is really beautiful and, and you're, you're on the same level. You're on the same level because you're both prince and princess. But um, you might, you're not the same. You, you're, ah, you express your love languages differently. You gotta figure out what this person's love language is and express your love to them through their love language and then they will understand. Or vice versa. They need to, you know, find out what your love language is and express their love um, through your love language. All right, pile two, thank you very much. Um, I hope that resonated for you. Um, if you liked it, Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe if you feel like it. Um, and, you know, I hope to see you again sometime. And, wow, I hope that wasn't too loud. I've been having some audio issues, so just bear with me with that. Um, but, yeah. All right, I'll, I hope you have a great night or day, and I hope to see you again sometime. Bye. Okay, group three. So your person needs to hear that they are safe and that they are protected. Reduction and home. We have Vesta and Sekhmet. So Sekhmet is a very fierce, very protective goddess. And then Vesta is a, a home goddess. Um, so, and you know, you should feel safe in your home. So your person needs to feel safe and they need to feel protected and they need you to tell them that, you know, you got their back and that everything's going to be okay, that everything's going to be fine, they're safe and they're protected and everything's just going to be okay, you know? Um, what does uh, group three's person need to hear? That you're there for them, ride or die. You're there. You got their back. to hear that sometimes even though you're cold you still find them to be a wish fulfillment you still have so much love for them 
and you have so much respect for them and you care about them and everything that you do for them is from a good place it's from a place of love not a place of malice a place of benevolence rather than malevolence they need to feel like everything's going to be okay and that you truly do have their back and that you truly do have love for them that you're going to put them first that you will put them first and that that also okay that you will put them first in, in the 3d realm but also that spirituality means something to you because look at him he's he's performing a spell and look at all that energy coming off the moon your person could be a cancer um but they need to feel like you know they come first amongst the other mortals but that even before them comes spirit, which is also them, right? With the theory of oneness, we are all one. We are gods. We are the God source energy. So they need to know that you're connecting to something bigger than yourself and that that comes first in the spiritual realm, but that they come first in this terrestrial earthly realm. Whew, man. And I'm not saying, like, put them before yourself. Like, you should always put yourself... Like, yourself is number one, but they just want to know that, that they're your person other than yourself. And they need that communicated. You have to actually say the words to them. You have to actually say the words out loud. Um, Spirit just said mirror work will help. So if you want to practice what you're going to say first and look in the mirror and look at yourself and say it to yourself, um, it, mirror work is really, really healing and really beneficial when you're saying the right things and when you're having the right intentions and thoughts around what you see in the mirror so definitely practice what you're going to say first you could even write it down um just so you get it out in the way that you really want it to come out and um but you have to say it you have to say it you can't like of course they want you to show it but you need to say it out loud as well because they need to hear it this person has inner demons that they're trying to work with and work through to see oh nine of cups and ten of cups they're in a transition period they're in nine ten like they're in the nines trying to shift over to ten so like they might see nines everywhere you might see nines everywhere um but you're in a transition period well they're in a trend maybe you are too if you're twins you might be reflecting each other um but they're, they're going from the nines to the tens. They're completing a cycle. They're starting a new beginning. So um, they, they need to hear that you think that they're a blessing. And they need to hear how great you think they are. Because they're working through some demons and working with some inner demons and working through some trauma. So they like you got to gas them up right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to give them, throw them a bone. Tell them how much you like them. Tell them how much you care about them. Tell them that you'll never let them go if that's true. If it's not true, just tell them the truth. But this is what they need to hear if it's the truth from you, if you've been having trouble spitting it out, you know? But they're in a transition period. They're trying to come over. They're trying to make the leap from 9 to 10. Whoa. Over with you. <laughs> and I just knocked the Queen of Swords off of, off of this. They just need, like, because they feel as though you're being kind of cold to them with the Queen of Swords. It's like you, you're... See how she's like, come closer, but then, like, once you get there, she, like, shuts the gate on you. <laughs> That's you. Um, any last thoughts? Wow, okay, so we got Princess of Pentacles, Spring... Princess of Cups, Autumn, um, Pisces, Moon, and King of Swords, Cardinal Air. They need this communication to come through swiftly, to come through concisely and clearly, um, and they need it sooner than later. So it's a good idea to practice. It's a good idea to maybe write some stuff down, um, but they need it as soon as possible like as soon as possible because right now they're weighing they they're stuck in a limbo period of insecurity and they're not able to like to go from nine to ten and make the completion they need 
the security. They need to know that you're there for them, that you love them, and that you have their back. Um, by the next full moon or the next new moon, everything will be more set and stable. Things will have come together and there will be more of a security and a connection. But make sure that you have this conversation, like I said, with them as soon as possible and do what you need to do so that by this next moon you can have what you're looking for. And then Princess of Pentacles and a Princess of Cups. Um, it's time to sow your seed so that you can harvest what you've sown. Or you've been sowing a lot of seeds, like you've been putting a lot of effort into something and you're finally going to reap the harvest. Um, they need to know that this is something that you want, that like the seeds that you've sown with them are what you actually want to harvest and that they're actually what you want and that they give you what, what you want and that you, you know, will protect them and keep them safe keep their heart safe and keep their heart protected and just have love for them um, and that this is what you really want. All right. Thank you, group three. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you feel like it, if you enjoyed the reading. Um, I hope to see you again sometime. And thank you so much to all my subscribers. Thank you so much to everyone who views my content. And thank you to everyone who interacts with me and who's very kind to me. I'm just going to say a quick thank you to my spirits <sighs> thank you to my guides guardians ancestors angels star family and source energy for allowing me to be the channel through which this these messages flow and yeah i thank you guys so much i love you and um i hope you have a great night or day i will talk to you soon bye